Today in the video, we're going to make a digital business card using Elementor Page Builder. Today, we're going to make a digital business card for a professor of a university or college, and this can be also for a teacher. So the first thing I'm going to do when doing digital business cards, which are exactly like regular business cards, but instead of printed, you're going to be sending a link. You're not going to need a menu on this page or anything like that. So in the settings over here, I'm going to change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. This hides any title or menu or footer you have from your template. So here we go. And to get started, I'm just going to put the logo in, the university logo. So I'm dragging inside an image and I'm going to change that image to my logo. Insert. And here it is. Now, usually what I like to do is go into style, change this into pixels and decide exactly what width I wanted it. Now, we're going to be working in mobile so we want to keep everything pretty much small and over here in the section settings I'm going to change the width to 500 now I'm going to change this to all the sections because we don't want it to go full width and we want it to keep it constrained so the next the next section I'm going to add is going to be a cover image. Now, let's get a cover image. The website I use for cover images is Unsplash. Over here, you can just search for whatever you want. So I'm gonna search for university. And we can get a nice little image over here. Let's search for something cool. I think this one wasn't bad. So I'm going to click on it once. And instead of clicking download free, which will download it in maximum resolution, I'm going to choose this preview image, which is already optimized for web and fast loading. So let's call this university. And I'm going to jump back in to Elementor over here. Again, I'm going into the section settings and I'm going to change it to boxed 500. So the column doesn't go full width on me, just 500 pixels wide. And over here inside of the column, I'm going to put a spacer widget. So my column is not empty because I can't give a background image to an empty column. Now to the column, I'm going into style background and I'm going to add a background image which is the image that we've just downloaded as you can see it doesn't weigh that much if I would click the download button this would weigh four or five megabytes and now it's just 300k which is okay for loading time you can optimize it a bit more but I think that's great for our needs so I'm going to click insert and as you can see, we don't see the image too good right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change position to center center that will show the center of the image and the size I'm going to change to cover that will optimize the size of the image and how it stretches along my column. I'm going to go into the settings of the spacer widget by clicking on it and I'm going to make that higher until I feel that I have a good view of my image. Now I'm going to go back into the column settings and I'm going to check something. I want to see what happens if I change this to top center. I think that's better. And now we can make this a bit less high because it's not the most important thing. And we're going to have more stuff over here and we want everything to fit inside of our mobile device. The next section I'm going to add by clicking the 
plus button over here, one column section is going to be the image of the professor. So to do that, I'm going to add an image into the column. In the section settings, we're going to change it to 500. And now we need to bring a professor image. To do that, I'm going to go into Unsplash again. And I'm sure that um, you already misspelled that. I'm sure that uh, you have these images already. I mean, this is just demo content. So it takes me a bit more time to find the images. But let's say I think this guy looks like a professor, which is great. And I'm going to save that image onto my desktop and go into templates into sorry into my Elementor page over here we're going to change the image upload select and here's our professor and I want to make my professor a square image and not a long rectangle image so I'm going to click over here edit image it will open the default uh, cropping tools by WordPress going to click crop and over here we can decide how we're going to crop it so I'm going to make it a complete square by giving it the same width and height and I can drag my crop right to it wherever I want it and I'm going to click crop over here we need to save and the image is saved so let's go back and over here we can do insert and as you can see it's still the old image I'm gonna click update to my layout and after it's saved we can refresh the page and now it should load the image that we've edited and cropped into a square we cropped it into a square just so it will fit better to our design over here I'm gonna click on the image again and as you can see it's a square now and in style tab I'm gonna change the width to pixels and we can decide however big or small we want that let's go for let's say 110 and the next thing I want to do is overlap it over here on my previous section so it's half overlapping in the column I'm gonna click the column in advanced I'm gonna close my padding so there's no spacing anymore and in margin I'm gonna unlock this and in top in the top value of the margin I'm gonna click down on my arrow key and this will bring my professor up onto the image so we want 55 so it's half exactly half of 110 which is the size of the image and let's click on the image again and give that a border over here in style border type I'm gonna click solid and I'm gonna change that color to white which looks cool we can play with the width until we get something that we're satisfied with I think 10 pixels looks cool and we can add a box shadow which will just make that jump outside a little bit which I think also looks pretty cool usually when using box shadow I push down the opacity of this a little bit just so it won't be so strong 20% looks great to me this looks great we're gonna start our next section and over here again first things first content width and we're going to put our professor name and his uh, job actually so his name is going to be Ronald Brooks I'm gonna use a title for that so widget pane heading push that inside center it and Ronald Brooks which looks cool I think and let's play around with the size of this so typography and we can decide determine how big or small we want this 
I think 30 looks good. Let's add another heading. Drag that inside. And over here, we're going to write what his job is. He's an associate professor. And I'm going to add a BR. Let's fix that. And I'm going to add a BR. And he's in the department of marketing. Super cool. Center it. And we're going to play with the size and color. So size, I'm going to go for 15, which I think looks good. Text color, I'm going to do something grayish. And maybe let's add italic also for this. Or maybe let's take a different font, something that's more serific. Maybe this one. Maybe this one. Okay, that looks cool. And I want to adjust the spacing between these two titles. So in the column settings, the default is 20. I'm going to change it to zero. Then I'm going to push it up with the arrow key until I'm satisfied with that spacing. So eight looks good to me. Next things is the contact buttons. Now for the contact buttons, I'm going to use unlimited elements widgets. To do that, I'm going to click add a new section and I'm going to split the section into three columns over here in content width, I'm going to push that down to 500 and I'm going to start putting my widgets. So the first button I want is a phone if I want to call him. So drag that inside and here's our phone button which looks cool. Let's change the background to something bluish that will resemble our logo. And the ripple color can be blue as well. So that's it for this button. You're just going to need to add a, the phone number. I think it will be nice if there's going to be a title under each of these. Maybe let's turn off the ripple. Great, and let's add a title. I'm gonna write phone and center that. And in the column, I'm gonna change the space to zero. Back to the text, style, typography, 14, and color, gray. I think this is starting to look okay. Maybe let's push the spacing over here in the layout. Widget space in the column. 10 looks good. And that's about it. So this is the phone. If you enter a phone number over here, it will just call it. And that's it. I'm going to copy this and paste it into the other columns, delete the empty columns. And now we want to replace this phone widget with an SMS. So I put my SMS widget, we can delete the phone one. Colors, we're going to go for the same colors for all. Ripple is disabled. And the label I'm going to change to SMS. The last button I'm going to add is an email button. So I'm going to search for email. And these are all widgets by Unlimited Elements. If you want them, you can also use the regular icon widget. It's not a problem. And we're going to change the color to blue, which looks good. Perfect. And over here, we can change the label to email. So I think we're all set with these buttons. I'm going to close this up with a maybe a navigate button that will navigate to the university and maybe the address of the university. So to do that, 
I'm just gonna duplicate this section and drag the section beneath my button section. You can delete the title and over here you can change this to a div because it's not going to be a title and I'm going to write the address so great we got our address set up and I'm going to add a new section the new section is going to be a navigate navigation button and again I'm going to change it to 500 width I'm going to drag inside the button element and that button I want it to be full width so over here in alignment you can choose justified not many of you know but if you choose justified then it goes full width we can change the padding to be a bit bigger using the size this just changes the padding also not many know that all this but the, all this drop down does is changes the padding and over here in the text I'm going to write navigate using ways or Google Maps or whatever you want style background color choose our blue and I think we have a very cool digital business card. What's left to check is how it looks on mobile, which it's supposed to look pretty much the same, but still let's check mobile. And as you can see, we need to make one small adjustment, which is with these columns. I'm gonna write over here in the column width 33.333% and I'm gonna change each one of the columns. And there you go. Here's our digital business card. It didn't take too much time. It's great and looks good and very usable. So if you have any comments, please post them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to write them as well. I was a meet from Unlimited Elements and I'll see you in the next video.